Hello and welcome back in the sheet metal workshop. My name is Todor and I'm a sheet metal worker for insulation. And this video is about sheet metal machines because that was the only thing until now what was missing. So some machines I have and some machines are coming. So the machines I have I'm gonna show you. This one is a bending machine. It's a two meter long bending machine so I can use this machine for bending metal squeezing metal here's a degree how much degrees I'm gonna bend it and that's the bending machine so we go now next to the next machine and that is here a circle cut machine with this machine I cut circles it's also a very old machine but it still functions and we have here a newer machine and that is a swage machine and a sheet metal worker for insulation is a swing machine something like a main machine because well you can change all those wheels there are seven pair of wheels I have here I have also uh, additional tools for this machine and that's what I'm gonna explain later with those additional tools that will come later in the video so I have the good thing here there's a speed adjustment here with this button I can speed it up so it goes really fast or slow it down that it goes very slow and then I have here this black button if I press this back button and push it I have a continuous play so I don't have to touch this one so it goes and it continues so that is That's the switch machine and the fourth machine is this one. This is a rounding machine. And the new thing on this rounding machine is it's got a plug-in of 230 volt, so it works on normal power. And it also has got here a speed adjustment. So I can slow it down. Those keys are here, something a protection thing here. So you go, won't go with your hand in it. Nothing, nothing happens. It's a new kind of protection. Well, that's it for now on machines. So the only, only machine for now what is missing is then the Galaxy machine. What? That will come also by time. So for now on, let's continue making metal. So I'm gonna put on my gloves. Um, it's better to work with gloves. So what I'm gonna show is just well some examples. So there are not any developments. It's just examples, just to show how some machines are working. And I want to make an end cap with a valve and a flat switch, a round one. And therefore we go to the round cutting machine here. The round cutting machine. I'm going to take here this metal. I hope it fits. I prepared everything as good as I can. And then I'm going to... So this is the rounding and we want to make an end cap so I'm going to make here piece of metal in the rounding. This is a diameter of 300 millimeter and we're gonna make here also a bending edge on it. But for now I'm just gonna leave this here. So this is the circumference. Like I've said, diameter 300 is a circumference of 942 plus 30 meter overlapping. So I'm gonna put in here a switch, a normal switch. See, this is a switch, and then we go to the rounding machine. Oh. 
there it is. So what I want to do is with a valve, this is going to be like this, and then we're going to make here a flat switch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change these wheels, and I'm going to take here, we're calling beading wheels. There are also an extra support. There are different beading wheels. You see there are little teeth, so it really pulls the metal with it. So we're gonna try the, uh, these out later. But now I'm just gonna use these beading wheels for the, uh, for the circle and the valve wheels. So they are a little bit looking square the, with those square edges. These are valve wheels. So these are what we're gonna put in first. And now if you can see from the side when the when you look how, how I'm gonna set up these square wheels, so I'm not gonna adjust them exactly in the middle so it goes a little bit to this side, like this. Yeah. And then you're going to move this so you have from this edge, from this edge about almost three millimeter. So I have to go through more times, I'm going to speed it all up. So we have now done almost to the end. So when here you notice it goes slow, slow, and then here it's stuck. So here's the end. So we're gonna a little bit back, and that's the last time. So now I have it. So it's what I also do is I'm gonna turn this around and do it in a contour way. So this piece of metal, this edge goes a little bit down, so it will be later easier to close it. So I go one, two and a half back. See, maybe too much, a little bit more. Okay, well that's exactly how I wanna show it, you see? Now it looks like this. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this here on the floor and we're gonna change wheels. So now the next wheel we are gonna put in are the beading wheels. Now the beading wheel set up. If you look here from this side, from the edge here. So normally I'm pushing him down and squeeze it to the edge of here. Yeah, no. Until the end. And then just a little bit more to this side. So there's only a little bit air between this wheel and this wheel. And then I'm gonna make it here fast, fast it up. And also here I'm gonna need, well say, between two or three millimeter, this edge, this is the allowance. I think it's enough. So I'm gonna test it. So I'm gonna 
gonna test it before I'm gonna do it. So this once. And then I hold it so about 45 degree in this angle. And pull it. So while while I'm turning this, I'm squeezing here a little bit in the form, so let's keep it straight. Well, okay, that's a good beading edge. We have here, it should be five millimeters. Okay, it's exactly five millimeters from the inside. Outside is, well, almost six because of the material thickness. Well, okay, now we're gonna make the whole round. Okay, that's it. So now we're gonna close this up. So now I'm gonna put this here in. See, it look like this. And here from the side, you can see already this edge is over it. So by squeezing it, it's easier to squeeze. Now for squeezing it, I'm gonna move this upper wheel on the edge of this front of the under wheel. Like this. Make it fast here. And then. So here, this size in between these, those two wheels is almost about material thickness. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this here in. Oh. Sometimes I need three hands. Okay, so I've squeezed it. Slow it a little and now I'm going to go back. Close it up onto a half. So once I have done close up the half, I'm gonna take a hammer. Only do it like this. So we see, see here we have here the overlap. So the next so the next thing is I'm gonna mark this here where the overlap is. So if you see the overlap on this side here, it starts say somewhere here. Then I'm gonna take my metal saw, just saw here a little bit, not exactly on the line I marked, a little bit before that. Because also I'm gonna make here, so I'm gonna open it. So I'm gonna also make here a flat switch. So this is the overlap I'm having, and I'm gonna do here, say 20 millimeters flat switch. So I'm gonna cut here a little bit out. It looks like this, so. Here's the overlap with this here, you see this line, and then I left here a little bit of metal. Now, what I'm gonna do is now, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to cut this out, of course. The part I have my salt out. 
goes like this. Now this one goes here under. And now we go continuing closing up the valve. So here you have to be here, be careful because this metal could be open and it could um, go on the under wheel. So you need to know here you have to push it a little bit to the inside. And as you can see, it's closed. That's it. So we have here one part exactly closed up. Yeah, so now I'm gonna drill here, make it fast here, so. Just drill a hole. Put in a pop nail. And the end cap is almost done. So this is all already an end cap if it is at the end of the pipeline. But you cannot also use it for somewhere to put it on just to cover it. And to make screws in it, I need a flat switch. And that's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm gonna put in a flat switch. So 20 millimeter, you want a 20 millimeter flat switch. So that's about 20. Now by flat switching, you have to squeeze a little bit more. So here it begins, so I'm gonna give him more. We're gonna just first make one round. So I'm gonna make it a little bit faster. Maybe too fast. So every time when the rounding goes too much, you just uh, take some pressure off and squeeze it down and then it will be straight again. Come back to this form. Okay, well that's it, that is the end cap. So to fits. I'm gonna put it here on the table so you can see it here on the side. almost like a head. Well, that is an end cap with a flat switch on it. Now, because we have already here this flat switch in, I can also uh, do some other flat switch things. For example, if you have a box on a big pipe and you have here a straight side and you need here a flat switch, so that's also what you can do. This is aluminium. And by these things, just gonna hold it. So the important thing is the first time you go through. You see, it? it's important you, you take exactly 20 millimeters every day. Now, I'm gonna pull it a little bit in the rounding. 
you can see it like this here. So now look, it looks like this. So a little bit more, just a little bit. And now the second time, I'm gonna pull this a little bit down. And you see, almost it's all alone to get straight, comes in form. So it's not much just doing it in the wheel with only one hand, it's just aluminium. So, so that's the second time. The third time I'm gonna go a little bit less, squeezing and now, so I have to be careful because if I push here too much, it's gonna scratch the metal from this side. So actually I'm pushing it, but also holding it a little bit back. sometimes a little bit more, a little bit less. Also depends what kind of material you are flat swaging. Okay, that's it. So I put it on the ground. Almost. Done. Okay, still had a little bit too much scratch for the first time, but okay, not so. And now if I want it, I can bend those edges on the bending machine. So this is just, like I've said before, a demonstration video to show sheet metal machines, what you can do. So I'm gonna bend this here from 90 degrees. And that's a combination of flat swaging and bending. So. I always first flat switch and then the other stuff comes as bending or whatever. So and now it's with stabilization. it. Okay, now the next thing is almost the same. It's also rounding with a different material. So it's the same thing. See, I have to go because it's a different material, a little bit harder than aluminium. Here you see a rounding with a flat switch. Okay, this is I just wanted to show how it works. Flat switch with uh, with this metal on it, with this support. And because we have here additional tools, what came with the machine, so we're gonna now do the same thing with this one and. This is a helping tool and it makes it a lot of easier making rounding swage on a rounding. So I'm gonna just 
Pull this up. And I'm gonna do it now the next time also with aluminium. And now it's gonna be a little bit different because it's, it's easier to get in. You see here, you have here this rounding from this and this also round. So it's a lot of easier to get in here. You see, and I already hold it in forms, in straight form. So this is just to show the difference in many ways you can do it. Almost done. Let me see, almost one time. Okay. Well, now you see it's much. Also it's straight, so I'm gonna also put it on the table maybe. It's easier to check it out. It's on the table. So there's a little bit of difference if you're using this or with the other material because the other material I had to make form, it's, it's also see a little bit scratches. And here I don't have any scratches. So That's the flat switch and I want to, for example, make a crimping using a crimping wheel. So to use it as a, some kind of a cover and the scraping wheels are these wheels here. It crimps the material, so we're going to change that also. On 20 millimeter. So with 20 millimeter is the 20 millimeter until the middle of the under swage wheel. Okay. So now I'm gonna put in here. Switch. I have also other metals I'm gonna put in the switch just as an example so I'm gonna put here one in and in this one okay now the crimping wheels are coming. So and again on 20 millimeter. You can see we have here 20 millimeter. So now we're gonna do it. We're gonna do here some. Crimping wheels. So just gonna slow, come slow in. You see, hold it a little bit. Already in forty-five degrees. Maybe squeeze here a little bit more. And the last.
last round, I'm gonna go make it less pressure. Well, that's it, the cover. So I'm gonna put it here now, once again on the table. And well, that's it. So that is it. Now, there's also an additional support for doing this thing. So if there are many, some young sheet metal workers having problems uh, doing it this way, and they are maybe afraid with their hands or something like that, well, there's also another additional support tool. What I'm so, and that is this additional tool. That goes here above the or here ex extra made for this. So then once it's bump and here is straight, I can make this here real fast. And now the time with a half one. Also, it is helping too. We have flat swages, crimping wheels, and we're gonna do some next example again. What I wanted to show, we're gonna change these wheels. So, first, first, what I'm gonna do is put the under wheel on it. So it doesn't matter before you can pull this off before or later, that doesn't matter. So now I'm gonna pull this off. And put this one on. And then pull this up. Now the important thing here, if you have this additional tool with this machine, is to get the right setup. And to know that, because well, I, I've tried it out before, so I have here some... some I have, so... So if you put this metal here on this flat here, and you see here, then from the upper wheel on the side, so it has to go down. So I'm gonna pull it down a little bit more. Okay, now you can see it here. So if I go here, you see I bump here on this edge, so it's too much down. So now I'm gonna come up. So now, now it doesn't, okay, a little bit up. Okay, this should be the correct setup for this one. And the upper wheel goes down. It's just like I showed before. You go straight down until the end and push it to behind cannot go anymore and then just a little bit you go to the front just to leave air a little bit air between those two wheels once you have that i make this here fast and then i also gonna find my three millimeter three millimeter okay it should be it. So I prefer not to go fast, go a little bit slowly. 
Abraham. Now here is a spot in between and that, that, that's making with a purpose so I can put this metal here in and just see so I have here an edge so it can grab it easier now. There it is. Okay, this is maybe a little bit too big. So we have here above almost seven millimeters, so it's a little bit too much. So I'm gonna go here a little bit in front. And now we're gonna do the same thing with aluminum. Well, this is the perfect one. I can see it already from aluminium. Five millimeters, well, almost, okay. Now, we're gonna do the same thing with the same setup without changing anything. We have also got stainless steel. We got stainless steel and it is also a thickness of, we have here on zero. So we have here a thickness Let's see, stainless steel should be 0.8 thickness, 0 0.8 thickness, so stainless steel, it's the same setup and now And there it is. Okay, the stainless steel has got a little bit, uh, you call it, uh, yeah, who is that now? Uh, stability. Stability, yeah, okay, the stability goes a little bit. But we done it. So, that's it with the swage wheels. That's it for now. What I wanted to show in my new workshop. And there will be more footage, more videos are coming and maybe if it isn't this time in this video, it will be maybe in the next, next or next one or whatever it will be. Okay guys, see you next time. Have a nice day.